Hi guys, we're back with part 3 of Resident Evil Remastered, and we're in Lisa's house, right? Yeah, yeah we are. So, we're going to pick up the crank, we need this to get to the other side, the residence, I think it's called. So we'll dump some of this health and this ink ribbon in the box. Take some more health because Lisa is a fuck. And she just came home. Hi there. This is what happens when you sneak around in people's houses when they're not home. They fucking open a door and bash her on the head. Apparently. I never tried it, so I wouldn't know if that actually happens, but we'll, we'll go with it being true. Oh no. That is truly horrifying. Ow! Just fucking bash me in the back of the head. It's very rude. I know I was stealing your crank and whatnot, but. You know, you don't have to do that. We'll go ahead and heal up because being on danger is not something I like to be on for a lengthy period of time. In any case, so in this part, we're gonna go to the residence, we're gonna deal with Neptune, and we're gonna deal with Plant 42. And oh hi there. Uh nice nice time for a stroll, right? Yeah, so we'll we'll deal with the, the sharks and the plant and then we will end it. Yeah, we'll end it there, I think. Because this is already an hour long, right? Now I was pitching for another half an hour episode. But again, it's gone horribly wrong, and I underestimate myself. Overestimate, underestimate, whatever. We estimate in the wrong direction, in any case. So we'll uh, grab the three quests. Quests? Crests? What the fuck is wrong with my English today? It's awful. <laughs> Fucking crows, get off my bastard head! So rude. All I want to do is drop these fucking hexagons in the gravestone. Why can't it? Oh, use it as is, so let's examine it. Of course there's fucking things on the back. Why would there not be? To this point, my chair is very creaky. I don't know if you can hear this, but, yeah, that's my chair, creaking like a fucking boss. I need a new chair. I don't, I don't need a new chair, I, this one's fine, but it's, it's creaking a lot right now, <coughs> because, uh, Whenever little brothers decide to come watch me play games, they lean on the back of the chair, which means it creaks now. So, that's fun, I guess. In other news, Evolve is very, very good. And, uh, I don't think my friends like me playing Monster very much. Uh, we, we did a round of evacuation while we waited for our American friend who doesn't have Evolve to uh, get back. So we were playing me as the monster against three of them and an AI. And uh, things didn't go too well for them. 
they even had like the damage buff in favor of them so they were doing more damage to me than normal and uh, I still had trouble like fucking me up to Brad can you broken fuck Joe you're so dense shit it's broken shit I love that it's great Hi doggies, we're just gonna pick up these uh, these herbs, I hope you don't mind. They just don't even give a shit, I'm just walking around and they're just like, whatever man, you good. But yeah, anyway, back to Evolve. Um, I think ended up going 3-2 in my favour. Uh, I lost one of the first four games, I think it was the third or the fourth, it was one of the two. Um, oh, it was the fourth because they had the, the strong turrets. Um, so yeah, in the fourth one, I kind of stood on too many mines and wasn't paying attention to my health and uh, yeah, I, I died. It was not good. Like, if I was paying more attention, I could have just rocked through um, Oddball playing as uh, Markov, um, but I decided I'd just charge through a fucking line of mines and uh, kill myself, which wasn't good. So they won that match, and then the final defense mission. Uh, I I was wiping them, and uh, Oddball was playing Markov again, and he was the last one. And I fucking, I sneak attack him, and just as I sneak attack, he activates a personal shield. So while I'm just bashing him out, like his shield's ticking down slowly, I finally manage to get him, I'm about to run out, and like, everyone else drops out of the dropship, and they dome me, and I die, and it's... It was so disappointing, it's like, yeah, I've done it, I've beat them, and it's like, no. Like the Darth Vader note at the end of fucking, um, Revenge of the Sith, is it? The third one? But yeah, at the end of that film, where he's like, no, It was basically my reaction. Um, so I don't think they're gonna want me playing Monster anytime soon. Which is a shame, because I enjoy it a lot, but they don't enjoy it. I was even playing like Goliath. I played one game of Kraken and that was on the nest. And uh, I started with a Goliath minion, so I just went to full armor and, and wiped them um, without even losing all my armor. That was uh, a bit nuts. They really didn't like that and they were like, no, no more Kraken. Just play Goliath, please. And I was like, okay, yeah, I see. I'll be nice, and I did, so. Although, I, I do think Goliath is probably as strong as Kraken anyways, so I, I, don't, I don't see what that would have done for them, really. I did have um, the Wraith unlocked, but that, that would have been a bit, a bit too much, I think. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and drop some of this stuff off in the box. We don't need the crank again for a while here. We'll take the the fuel can and the lighter, although I don't think I end up using them. And they just take up a lot of space and make me run back to the save room again um, after filling up on items. So, yeah, I'm kind of bad with this uh, whole inventory management thing. Do some fiddling with the box, make sure things are nice and neat and tidy. I think that's good. Yeah, let's go. So, first thing on the agenda is go to the pool room, I think. That's the double doors. Yeah. Although, I, I guess we can push this over the hole. Now, in the original, there was just the, the one hole, but here there's two, so you can push it right over where you would in the original, and still get grabbed by this hole on the right, 
there's probably going to be some arrows here at some point. But, yeah, I'll, I'll push the box over it anyway. So this one I'm pushing the box over now. If you push the box over the other hole, you'll still get grabbed from that hole there that I've just pushed this box on. So you want to push the box on this hole so you can climb up the box and dodge the other vine. It does take a bit more time, obviously, but you're not getting grabbed by fucking hentai tentacle plant bastard, so... It's always nice to not be grabbed by plants. Now, we're gonna dodge these bloody massive spiders. Take some herbs, because that's always nice. As you've seen, we take a lot of unnecessary damage, so we need all the medicine we can get. So we're gonna light these. Um, as far as I remember, it's to do with the numbers that you need for the, the door later on. In the original, it was, um, you had to, like, look at the colors, um, and they they corresponded to the, bo the, the balls on the table. As far as I know, that's the same thing here. So we've got a red, a green, and an orange, and the eyeballs underneath give you a uh, indication of the order, and the colours give you the number. But it's a while until we need them, but yeah, we, we'll do this now, because why not? Save us coming back in this bloody room later on. And we've already got the lighter, so why not? You know? Now, I've been thinking of trying to find Seb and finishing off the uh, Borderlands stuff we've been doing. Now, if Seb doesn't want to carry on, I'm sure Kenny will. And even if he doesn't, I can probably finish off on my own okay so three five six because we've got the red one in the door at the start then the green one down there was six and this one's the orange five um, <clears throat> yeah we'll just make sure here three five six so they're the numbers we need but the order is completely unknown until we get to the door and we whoa this fucking spider is in the way that's not good he's just like yeah I'm gonna stand here and what but he does make a mistake and we exploit that mistake to get past unharmed because that's always nice we don't want to take another hit when it's completely unnecessary although every time I've been hit so far has basically been unnecessary so it doesn't really make sense for me to say that this bloody house is so creepy like I'd say this is creepier than the mansion because it's got all these fucking bugs everywhere and spider webs and it's fucking horrible. Ooh. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Ooh, Barry. Some shady shit's happening here, guys. Who's he talking to? I don't know. Well, I do know, but I don't know. So anyway, we'll we'll go in and see what the issue is with Barry. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, oh, you heard that, did you? I think he just starting He just to tries to pass it off like he was talking to himself. 
It's like, what? You don't even... Talking to yourself? Like, what you fucking right? conversation would you need to have with yourself to, like, say what he was just saying? You worried, aren't I? There's literally no situation where he'd do that. Unless he was, like, high as fuck. But he's clearly not high. So... It's not gonna fly, Barry. Don't worry. Chill doesn't believe him. At all. She's like, Why are you buying into your shit, Barry? Anyway, we're gonna push these bookshelves and it's gonna reveal a ladder now down that ladder live some sharks okay they're very very hungry sharks and not the nice kind of shark they wanna eat and they wanna eat me Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially strong... I don't even know what I'm saying. T-virus morphed its host anatomy as well as size. Looking at current state, it's difficult to imagine original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will we find anything like it. We also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring nutrients. One source is through its root, somehow has roots down in the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility one of the chemicals in the water is promoting the plant's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We're sure it's used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long, tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring nutrients. When the plant senses play, it uses the tentacle vines to capture it. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several scientists have already fallen victim to the plant. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reports as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. I, I don't know what that was with, like, the second page there. I just completely messed up and, like, words meshed into other words. And then it went, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I don't even know what I'm saying. So, we did recover, though. We recovered. You wouldn't believe that I, like, write stories I just can't read like out loud sometimes it just goes weird well some fucker just let himself inside oh now they did and of course my inventory is full because I'm carrying this fucking lighter and canteen I don't even need them. I've got a shotgun. I only have to kill this one zombie anyway. And even then, I don't have to kill him. I could just walk by. But anyway, hi there. Well, uh... You don't have a head anymore, mate. You should probably go to the doctors and get that checked out. Creaky chair is the best chair. Yeah. <coughs> and yes, I'm still coughing. Although the cold has passed pretty much. It's just the cough is still lingering. This is like two, three weeks of coughing. My guts, like, it's really fucking nuts. Like, I, I never normally get ill. But when I do get ill, 
it kills me almost. So anyway, we're gonna drop off some items. I don't think we need this green blue herb. Um, we don't really need the canteen or the lighter anymore. But we're not gonna put them away. We'll just put the other herbs as well. Okay. Sure. I'm really not good at this game in retrospect. I make so many mistakes. But anyway, um, going back to my plans, like, I would like to carry on and finish, um, Borderlands. I mean, I, I finished it by myself anyway, but I want to finish the run through we were doing for YouTube. Because it is a fun game, and, uh, I think the interaction between the other two was pretty good as well, so. Um, yeah. Other than that. I've still got Skyrim to play through, but, like, the whole idea behind the Skyrim playthrough was it be a viewers choose what I do kind of thing, but nobody has any input, so I don't know what people want me to do, so I'm just leaving it, kind of, but I think I might just stop caring and just play through, maybe edit things out a little bit, make it not as long and nothing happening kind of deal, but I don't know. As well as that, I want to get some more Evolve videos when I um, play some online. I've not really played any online yet, it's just been against AI to unlock all the characters. Because uh, I had enough of playing Maggie, Hank, Val, and Markov. So I wanted to play the other hunters. And of course I wanted to unlock the Kraken and the Wraith because I never played those in the beta. Because I obviously hadn't pre-ordered the game at that point so I didn't have the Wraith. And uh, I only played a single game of Goliath so I didn't unlock the Kraken either. But I have everyone unlocked now, so should see some more varied gameplay there. What else have I got? I've got I've got Witcher and I've got Witcher 2. I bought those specifically to do videos on. I played Witcher 1 for about 20 minutes. It feels alright, but I I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe that'll come. Maybe not. Who knows? I mean, the third one is coming out, so I should really play it, because the third one looks like it'll be really good. And other than that, I want to do a Resident Evil 2 run again. I might do that immediately after this, I think. Um, that will be a... Uh, Leon A, I think, because I love my Leon A. I think my best time has, was like two hours or something, maybe a little bit shorter than that, without any saves. This was a long time ago, so... Right, here's the fucking sharks. And you know the best part? I can't even do what I need to do in here because I'm stupid and didn't get the key yet. So, uh, fucking sharky boys down here. Gonna take a couple bites out of my fucking ass. Because I'm dumb as hell. Um, yeah, so we need another key for in here. Which you don't get in here. It's like I should have took the key from the bathroom. Went back to the save room and this fucking music scared the shit out of me and I'm like, nope, I want to get the fuck out of here. So I'm just running around to try and find a door I can get in. And look what door I go in. I'm like, oh, this will be alright. I need to be in here, right? And then I'm like, okay, let's run forward. I'm like, nope. Fuck the tentacles right off. We're not going in there. 
I'd rather face the sharks, thanks. So yeah, we're gonna run back around here, not get eaten. Mm, too fast for you, Mr. Shark. Mm, too fast. But not too fast for him. He is a fucking fast shark. And the music starts again. Arrgh. We're gonna have to use the spray. Run, Jill, run! The big one's right there! Oh no! No, go! Open the door! Oh. They're very scary. I don't like sharks. They fucking hurt, man. Pick up some of the green herb and we're gonna use it, I think. Because I don't like being damaged. Not when things can take you from fucking full health to half health in one hit. I'd rather not die, thanks. But yeah, like, Resident Evil 2 was definitely my favourite. And while I say I, I speedrun it in inverted commas, it wasn't really a speedrun because I literally kill everything and take quite a lot more time than I should. Like, I'm pretty sure you could speed run that game in like 45 minutes or some shit. So, that's not really much of a speed run in my case, but... Considering... At the time... This was what, like... Four years ago? Three, four years ago? So I was... 17...ish? And I was fucking scared as fuck of these games. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I did too bad. Um, we might do a Nemesis run after that, but... I don't know, Nemesis takes a lot more time. I think the first time I finished that, I ended up taking, like, four hours or something. It was fucking absurd. Although, the way this is looking, this is gonna take four hours. Uh, so can't really compare. Although, it, Nemesis does feel like it's a much bigger game, like in scale, because you've got a lot of the city to run around, and this not so much. It just fucking takes so long. I had to do it! We ran from the things helping each other survive! But Robert showed the symptoms! I had to do it! Those damn things are pure evil! There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words, but this is better than waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand, and let me end my life as a person. There is a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. So, uh... He hung himself, and left his friend in the bathroom. Okay. Well, uh... Let's go check on his friend, I suppose. Oh good, he's just lying on the floor. Oh, he just fell down and uh, the music's on. Is he gonna come in? Is this guy gonna stand up? Like, I'm, I don't like this music at all. And this guy's just on the floor like, hi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until you take the key out of the bath, Jill. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up. And then, when I stand up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk towards you, Jill. I'm gonna, oh, don't shoot in English, ow! And then you're just gonna die. And we're gonna leave, because we don't even need to be in there anymore. 
I didn't even need to shoot him. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm like, oh, there's a zombie. Let's fucking blow his head off. And it's like, no, I don't. I don't need to do that. They don't leave that room, and I've got all the items that I need. What? Why did I waste the bullets? I am literally terrible at this game. But never mind. We're we're all right. We're gonna go back into the save room. I think we need to get some health or something because we are running a bit low on that front right now. So, uh, yeah, we'll drop the canteen. We don't need the canteen anymore. Don't need the derringer. And we can put the bullets with the other bullets. Put the lighter away, and I think we're good. We're good to go. So now, we need to go back to the sharks. See, that, that ten minutes or whatever we spent fucking around with the sharks, running back and forth, was pointless. Like, if I just used my fucking brain, and looked to the key, I would have been alright. But no, it's like, let's go down the ladder and talk to the sharks. Why not, mate? I'm so dumb. <coughs> creaky chair. Don't you love my creaky chair? Now, there is a map on that door. Not the door, the, the wall. But there is a big hole behind the map. And bees will come through it. So... We'll we'll wait to pick that up because I don't want to get stung by bees. In the words of Nicolas Cage, "Not the bees, not the bees." I love that film. How to get burned? How to get burned? Nicolas Cage is like the best actor. You cannot deny that. It is a fact. He is the best and if you disagree you're just denying that he is the best and somewhere deep down in your heart you know that he's the best but you try and convince yourself that he's not and it's a damn shame but he will accept that he is a humble god <laughs> I'm fucking dumb literally don't listen to anything I say. You'll probably lose some brain cells. Oh, I really don't like this music. Throw away the key and go in the door. What the fuck? Can we use this? No? Okay, let's not bother with that. The warning lamp indicates there is an emergency. Gee, thanks. I never would have guessed. Why can't you just slide down the ladder? It makes things much easier. Look at that big fucking shark. Holy shit. Okay, so that's the oil pressure. Oh, I'm so tired. It's like three o'clock in the morning. God damn. Well, we'll take the health. We'll open it up. What's inside? Two green herbs. Lovely. Okay. Sure thing. So, what we need to do is we need to lower the shutters. And to do that, we use this console? Yeah, we use this one. There's a switch to drain the water. I don't think he wants us to drain it. Unknown source of pressure detected. Unknown Locking source of pressure detected. Okay, because locking the doors will achieve safety. Sure thing. What the fuck did we do? Did we use the pressure now? No. No, we don't. What the fuck? What do I do? These fucking shocks like breaking the fucking glass. But I don't know what I'm doing. Just walking around. Okay, good. It won't budge into- WHERE'S THE SAFETY?! WHAT THE FUCK?! WHAT AM I DOING?! 
That's not the safety. Where is it? Ah. Okay, good. This is the safety. Let's release that. Then we need to go back to the other thing. Press this. Good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, shut us, please. Come down. Reaching 50% of pressure 50%. threshold. Pressure detected. Fuck. Come on, come on, press the buttons. We need to Let's do it. Come on. Fuck off, shark. Which button do we press? I don't know. There's something that tells you, but we just press everything. It wasn't that one. Let's press three. It wasn't that fuck. Of course, it's the last one I press. Press number one. Hmm. Something happened. Sure. Why did it open? No! I need to close, you fucking idiot! 70% no! No! Don't reach 70%! No. We've got to push the safety on oh, what? Oh my god. This is the worst thing. I'm literally sat here fucking shitting myself. Oh, is that finished? Please tell me there's no more fucking shock bash in a glass. Never been so pressured before in my life. Like that is the tensest goddamn situation in anything ever. Cause that shark was just like seconds away from killing me. Oh gee. Yeah, sure, open valve number one. Yeah, shame I didn't know that before. Piece of shit. Okay, so, we've got a map of this piece of shit aqua ring, which is completely pointless by the way, because it's literally three rooms, but whatever. I think we can pick up some items in here, yeah. There's some shells on the side there. Then we need to go deal with old Neptune himself. He is a bit of a bell end. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, what else have I got that I could do videos on? I really want to do my XCOM run. But at the same time, it's going to take forever to do. And I don't know. If people want me to use their real names and whatnot, like I want to do a video with real names, but one, I don't really have any female friends, so if I get any female characters, they're just gonna have bullshit names. And uh, two, people might not be want to use their names, so yeah, that's also not good. I mean, I could use their nicknames and shit, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, it's a shark! He just knocked the key in the water. What a rude guy. No, we don't want to fuck. I keep pulling this bastard lever. I don't want to do that yet. I want to push this thing into the water first. Then we pull the lever. Yay me! Round of applause! Got there in the end. I've bought so many games specifically to make videos on. But then I just don't want to do it. Like, I got Assassin's Creed 3. I got 7th Guest. I got 11th Hour. I got Agarest Generations of War. I got all the Legacy of Cain games. Being Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver 2, Defiance, and Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. I got Devil May Cry 3. I got Dark Souls, which I played a bit of before I started doing YouTube videos. 
but didn't get very far. Stuck on the fucking Kappa Demon. Such a rude guy. Um, Red Faction Armageddon. Sid me as pirates, I could do some on that. Some projects on board, maybe? I got so many games. But just no time. Anyway, let's pick these magnum rounds and make our way out of the aqua ring. We will need to come back later on when we have the V Jolt. So we can kill the roots of the plant and not have to fight it. Because who wants to fight bosses when you can have them be dead without fighting them? You know? So it's nice. It's always nice. I'm kind of tempted to like start doing reviews on my blog again, but. At the same time, it's just too much effort for something nobody's going to read. It's like, why read this random guy's reviews when you can go to fucking IGN or watch Total Biscuits WTF is or... I don't know, whatever, like any other fucking YouTube or news outlet, you know? It's like... Nobody will care about my shit, so that's why I'm a bit hesitant. We don't need that right now. Fuck off bees. No bees. No thank you. This poor bastard got killed by bees. These fucking bees are everywhere. I don't know why I'm whispering, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, now we're gonna take the map, and there's a big ass hole in the wall, for whatever reason, you know. It's always good just to leave holes in your walls. Why not? Then we're gonna fucking spam this gas shit in the wall. Kill all the bees. Who the fuck has a big ass beehive grown in a house anyway? That thing is huge! It covers the entire wall. I've never seen a beehive that big. Anyway, we need to go around there to pick up the key for this door. Which we will then throw on the floor. Because you only ever need a key for one door, but you know. Nothing else, let's leave. Yeah, look at this guy, like, he is so fucked up by those bees. He must have been allergic to them or something. So yeah, we'll go in here. And. What the fuck are we doing? A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surround it. Why are there moths? I don't even know. So we're gonna take this white book. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. UMB number 3 is red, yellow 6 is yellow, 
UMB number 7 is green, UMB number 10 is orange, BP017 is blue, and the V-Jolt is dark brown. I have no idea what that accent was. I, I was shooting for German, but then it kind of wasn't German to start with, it was more like Indian <laughs> or something. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna move these books around. There is a specific order to this. I don't know if you can tell right now, because it's, it's pretty simple. But, uh, yeah. Move that book there. And look, there's our woman. And that'll move the bookcase and open the door. But we don't want to go in there yet, because we haven't mixed up Vigil and put it on the roots. So, if you went in there now, you'd have to fight the plant, and that's no good. <coughs> Although, to be fair, it probably would have been faster for me to do that. It takes me like 15 minutes to fucking mix this chemical and then put it on the roots and come back. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Spend another fucking two minutes in this bathroom doing jack shit. Because... Why the hell would there be a bath with nothing in it? Why not? So, we gotta go and... Mix the V-Jolt now? I don't know. I think I need to clear some inventory space. For the, um... The bottles. Yeah, so we're gonna go do that. Go back to the item box. Drop off some shit. We need four spaces for the bottles. Although I think you only need three bottles. So. We'll drop some things and see what happens. This track always, like, seemed a bit weird to me. Like, you kind of get the creepiness from it, but at the same time, it just sounds very gay. And not, like, homosexual gay, just, like, gay gay, you know? I don't know, I can't really explain it very well, but it just... Sounds a bit out of place. It might just be me, but whatever. I should probably stop tapping that. It's quite loud. So, anyway, we're gonna go back and open the door. So, the red eyeball was three, the orange one was five, and the green one was six, right? I think. I can't remember what the eyes were though, shit. Let's just try three, five, six, or six, five, three. That's clearly incorrect. Well, let's try something else. Let's try five, three, six. Yeah, that worked. That's good. Now, if I'd paid more attention in the beginning and looked at the eyeballs, we wouldn't have had that mess. And we would have just been in like, boom, done. So we're going to pick up three of these bottles here. Now, the red chemical is UMB3, the yellow one is yellow 6, and you can get water out of the sink here. The sink counts as like a number 1, and the idea is to combine the numbers up to make 20. But you've got to do it in the smallest increments possible, 
you've got to like make 10 and then you've got to make 7 and then you've got to add those together for 17 then you've got to add 3 to that so what we're going to do is we're going to grab 6 we're going to add water to that to make 7 then we're going to add 3 to that to make 10 then we're going to make another 7 and wait what the fuck did I just say mm, no that's wrong we need to add the water to the 3 to make 4 and then the 4 to the 6 to make 10 yeah that sounds about right then you make 7 with the 6 and 1 then you add the 10 and 7 then you add 3 to that I think I think that's what we do we'll see blah, 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 blah. so we've got 10 and we need to make 17 so we need a 7 yeah we're gonna put water in here we're gonna put yellow in here we're gonna combine those to make seven. The UMB number seven combines that with the UMB ten to make VP O seventeen. Then you take the UMB three from the red pot. Then you put the red pot into the blue pot and to make a the brown pot, which is the V jolt. Congratulations, you can now kill the plant with your distinctively brown liquid which doesn't fall out when you turn it upside down so that's clearly a lie it's definitely not a liquid anyway we're gonna see if there's any more goodies in here it doesn't sound like there is so we're gonna just leave here We're going to go back down the ladder in the next room. This will put us into the aqua ring again. We're going to walk all the way around. And the first time we went in there, when I went in that room with the tentacles, like that's where we need to go and use this chemical. Almost went in the bathroom there. I didn't need to do that. So I'm glad I didn't. Climb down the ladder. Now this track I do like a lot. Like the do 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 do. It's very ominous. And of course the boxes are gone because I drained the water. I'm so smart. So we're gonna go back all the way down and round the long way. Which is a shame, but sure, whatever, we'll do it. I need to change my fucking phone ringtones at some point. I was thinking about getting like the um the Chocobo theme from Final Fantasy for my ringtone. And I completely forgot what I was going to set my text tone to. Like, I could go really cliche and put it as like the Metal Gear Solid codex sound. Or the alert sound, but... I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. I'll, I'll find something. But it's like... You know when you're out on like a bus or... Just in somewhere? And you hear somebody's phone go off, and it's like... So, oh, there's a shark there. And he's just flapping around. But yeah, like, you're in somewhere, and you hear someone's, like, phone. And it's, say, I don't know, a character from League of Legends. And you just smile to yourself, you're like, Oh, yeah, that guy plays a game that I play. Or, hey, that chick plays a game I play. And it's like, oh, cool. But then you don't really say anything to them about it, because that'd be a bit weird, and... Yeah. 
Is that just me? I don't know. I don't. I don't like talking to people. So we're gonna throw those bottles away because we don't need those. Which gives us a lot of space, so we can pick up those handgun bullets and the red herb from the gallery on the way back from the plant. What did we get it before? I think we get it before, and then we just run out after the plant. That's not an issue. Oi, Sharky. We're gonna leave you there, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. He's a bastard. And shouldn't have eaten me. Maybe he wouldn't be flapping around without water if he didn't try that shit. Okay. I'll start whispering now. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think I should do like an ASMR video or something, but I don't have a binaural mic, so I know a lot of people get triggered by binaural and the stereo, like, left-right bullshit. I can't really listen to ASMR that's not... I know a lot of you will be like, what the fuck is ASMR? It's like, it's really cool, and like, you know, um... I don't know, like, you know how, like, a lot of people like listening to the rain? And it like makes them tingle in like the, the back of the head and the neck and whatnot. That's kind of what ASMR does. And there's a whole load of different um, triggers. And like binaural stereo stuff is like one of mine. Like if it's not binaural, then it doesn't really do much for me. Um, but yeah. If you ever like wanna check out some ASMR, either go to the subreddit, which is like r slash s let me, let me do that again, r slash ASMR on reddit, of course, or uh, if you go to YouTube, like a couple of my favorites would be uh, Heather Feather, Softly Galoshes, um, and Springbok ASMR, I think, a Springbok something or other. But those three are really good. Um, but if you go to the subreddit, there's all kinds of stuff that will trigger you in some way or form. Like, even, like, some guy fucking repairing an iron or something could trigger someone. So, you never know what would do it for you. Until you try, I suppose. But it's really good. Like, it will put me to sleep pretty quickly, which is why I mainly use it for, but if I'm not doing anything, I'll just lob it on in my headphones and just chill on my desk, like, look at that plant, it's totally fucked, or you'd think, until surprise, it's fucking back to normal in two seconds flat. What the and if hell Barry is this just thing? fucking walks out of nowhere with a flamethrower, like, what the hell is this thing? When it's clearly a big ass mutant plant, but Barry's too stupid to figure that out. Yeah, you fucking scream like a man, Barry. You got this, you totally got this. Blob, 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 blob. Fire is very strong against grass types and plant 42 is a grass type pokemon barry is apparently a fire type pokemon i'm glad i picked him as my starter i thought it was finished yeah yeah so what the fuck is that That's awkward as shit he just stands up and says nothing else like, yeah thanks again don't mention it but what was I was just getting fresh air, and I figured I'd come back the with a flamethrower. I have six cent gel. Like, what the hell's going on in this place? You say that, it's just a fucking big-ass plant. Like, you've literally fought fucking zombies, and you're like, what the Barry, hell is this Barry. plant? It's like, fucking hell. Something about that man Barry is so stupid. Me. And I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split of course up you would. Investigate. All right. That's all he ever says. We should split up and investigate. Fuck me. 
Let's see if there's any goodies up on the balcony. I don't, I don't think so, but we'll, we'll look. There's no harm in looking, right? And of course, it's a waste of my fucking time. God damn it. I was hoping for like some bullets or even some more herbs would be nice, you know? Whatever. We're good. Let's go. That's the door for the bedroom. We don't need to go in there, so. Let's go out these double doors. Save us from going through two doors. Save some loading time and whatnot, you know? So we're already up at two and a half hours. And the time limit for the rocket launch is three hours, so we're definitely not hitting that. But the samurai edge is five. I think we should get that pretty easy. Wesker. Oh my god, Wesker, why are you fighting? A crimson head? Jill. A hunter? A dog? That's what I was going to no. say. Just some bees, Jill. I apologize. Why would you shoot the bees? Such a point. I understand. Anyway, Just fucking go through the door and let them reset. You God damn it, Wesker, you're such a noob. Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Barry's a little flaky. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. I wonder why that is, Wesker, huh? I wonder why. First priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into. Crooked chair is the best chair. Don't take on a whisker shit. Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. This looks so fucking dumb with the out of sync audio. Like, Wesker's just like, come at me, bro. So, what the fuck? Anyway, they're the bees that he was shooting. For no apparent reason other than to shoot the bees. So stupid. Now, because we killed the plant, we can walk over the hole. And there's nothing to worry about. Which is nice. Although we do leave right now, so. We're gonna. Fix our box. We've got the last key we need for the mansion. This'll let us get. Um. Into the last couple of rooms. To get the two gems. We're gonna get the ammo disc. Because I wanna get the good ending and save Chris. Um, we're not gonna let Barry die to Lisa, or we'll try to. If she kills him, I'll be very sad. So, uh, yeah, I think only things we've got to do now is get the other stone and metal object, which is in two parts, the two medallions, and then clear out the lab. So, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys.